Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Arizona Cardinals stunned the Dallas Cowboys 28-16. to As I bet all the people right now that said the Arizona Cardinals would go 0-72. Um, I'm raising my hand right now because I also said the Arizona Cardinals would go 0-72. Are feeling pretty bad right now. The Cardinals just beat the Dallas Cowboys. Dude, is one of the best teams in the NFL. When a, I would probably say... 75%, if not maybe more, of people who predicted you know, the NFL records, if anybody predicted NFL records from like all 32 teams or just a couple teams, and the Arizona Cardinals will not list, a lot of people had the Cardinals going 0-17, and I was on that list. I had the Cardinals going 0-17. I had the Cowboys winning this game by like 30-something, but I'm going to give some theories why I thought the Arizona Cardinals won this game. Here's one thing. I think the Arizona Cardinals are better than people think. They have an underrated team. Yes, they don't have Kyler Murray quarterback, but I think Romeo Dobbs has, or sorry, not Romeo Dobbs, Joshua Dobbs has, you know, done a great job for the Arizona Cardinals stepping up as the new quarterback. I thought he, he's been very good. They have James Conner, James Conner, really good running back who almost had 100 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown against a, one of, against one, the best defense in the NFL today. Zach Ertz at tight end. And Marquise Brown and Rondell Moore and a couple other wide receivers on their, you know, on their offense. This is a solid offense, and they have a very good defensive-minded head coach and Jonathan Gannon. And one of the reasons why I felt like they were prepared to come in this game is because having Jonathan Gannon as your offensive coach, also your defensive coordinator. This is a guy who comes from Philadelphia. He was used to playing the Dallas Cowboys, as you know. He was there for you know quite a while and played the Dallas Cowboys twice every year and you know prepared for that Dallas Cowboys offense twice uh, twice a year and I think he was prepared for them you know going you know going into this matchup I think the Cowboys you know played a little cocky in this game to be honest I think that they were expecting a win coming into Arizona expecting a win and Jonathan Gannon in Arizona was prepared. And kind of shocked them early on. I don't. I don't think they expected to be down 11 points at halftime. And I, I think it was. This was just uh, a Dallas team that was very expecting to win this ball game today. And um, I don't think that they were necessarily uh, thinking that they were gonna um, that they were necessarily gonna go out there and and lose by 12 points by the Arizona Cardinals, a team who has been listed as the worst team in the NFL, a team that has been listed to to most likely go 0-17. Now that's not going to happen as they won their first game this season against the Dallas Cowboys. This team has looked good to start off. They uh, should have beat the... They, I mean, honestly, if you look at... If you watch the Arizona Cardinals and what they've done in the first three games, this team should be 3-0. and They really should. They, you know, I don't know I don't know how the Giants came back against the Cardinals last week. Giants came back. They were up 28-7 to last week against the, against the Giants. Then against the Commanders, you know... Their defense played good in that game, but the Commanders somehow won. This Cardinals team should be three and zero. I think they're a very underrated team in the NFL. I I don't even think this was that bad of a. Uh, I don't. I really don't think this is all in the Cowboys here. To be honest, I know the Cowboys are going to get hated for this performance, and they they pr- were pretty much terrible in this game. Their defense wasn't as good as it should have been. But I will say, I think a part of it is that this this Arizona Cardinals team is better than they look. Um, if you look on paper, this team looks really bad. But I think when when they come out there to play, I think they're a, a, an underrated team and a team that um, is probably one of the most underrated teams in the NFL. But uh, they shocked me today for sure. And uh, I think the Dallas Cowboys will bounce back for sure. Uh, they, they have a hard matchup next week against the New England Patriots, but they're at home. I, th- I think that should be a, a win. Also, Dallas had to adjust with you know without Trevon Diggs for the first game. But, you know... This was a terrible performance. Performance from the Cowboys. I, you know, whatever. I, I really do think that this was a great performance by the Arizona Cardinals, though. Let's go to the scoring summary. So, first quarter, Matt Prater um, had had a field goal, thirty nine yard field goal, three zero, and then James Conner had a five yard touchdown run. And I guess they, it, do, it doesn't say if, if they missed the extra point. I don't know why it doesn't say that. I guess they missed the extra point. Which is crazy because they'd make a Matt Prater, their kicker, would end up making a 62 yard field goal. Then the kicker for the Cowboys at the end of the first quarter, Brandon Aubrey, would make a 49 yard field goal. That's the first score of the day for the Dallas Cowboys, and it's 9 to 3. 
Second quarter, you have four scores, three for the Cardinals and one for the Cowboys. You have Rondell Moore with a 45 wide receiver, Rondell Moore with a 45-yard touchdown run. So they go for the two-point conversion. I'm guessing that James Conner had the five-yard touchdown run and, and they missed the extra point. So ultimately, they were um, not going to trust their kicker here and they went for the two-point conversion and they failed. So it's 15-3 to instead of potentially 16-3. to then the Cowboys scored their first and only touchdown of the day as Dak Prescott throws a 15-yard touchdown pass to Rico Dowdle, and the extra point by Aubrey is good. It's 15-10. to Then going to halftime, in the last minute and a half, Prater knocks in two field goals, one from 62. I, was, I, think that, I believe that was his career long. Prater makes a 43-yard field goal. It's 18-10, to and then Matt Prater has a 62-yard field goal. It's 21-10. Third quarter, there's only one score, and that's to the Dallas Cowboys with a 27-yard field goal from Brandon Aubrey. It's 21-13. to Then the fourth quarter with nine, minutes, nine and a half minutes remaining, uh, Brandon Aubrey makes a 26-yard field goal, and then Joshua Dobbs throws a touchdown pass, two-yard touchdown pass to Marquise Brown. Extra point is good by Prater. It's 28-16. to so it looks like when you look at this game, it looks like the Cardinals dominated this game, but the Cowboys were really close the whole way. And honestly, I believe, even from someone coming right here, you're, you know, you're hearing me talk about the Cowboys. I don't really like the Cowboys that much. I've watched them this year closely, and I've studied them. They're a good team. This is a game they should have won. Um, and red zone struggles. Look at the, the two field goals, the 27-yard field goal and the 26-yard field goal. Those are drives where you're at... You know, you're all the way at the, you know, you're at the ten yard line. You're at the, and you're at, the, you're not only at the ten yard line, but one drive, you're at the ten yard line, uh, and the other, you're, you're at the, uh, you know, the, you're at the ten yard line, and then you're at the sixteen yard line, or sorry, the nine yard line as well. So they're inside the ten twice in the third quarter and the fourth quarter when Aubrey made the twenty seven and the twenty six yard field goal. Um, which originally made the made it a thirteen point. Uh, it made it a twenty one thirteen game, then a twenty one to sixteen point game against a not so great defense against the Arizona Cardinals. A, a, you know, a Arizona Cardinals defense that is listed as the worst defense in the NFL. I believe that those were two drives right there where Aubrey, where the Cowboys settled for field goals from twenty seven and twenty six yards with Brandon Aubrey. Those are drives the, the the Dallas Cowboys should be scoring touchdowns on, and that is a eight point swing right there. The Dallas Cowboys would have. Uh, been closer in this game than it would have been a 24 to 28 ball game and might have been a different story here uh, for the Dallas Cowboys but it uh, would have been interesting for sure you okay uh, then let's get into game leaders Dak Prescott threw 25 for 40 249 passing yards one passing touchdown one interception Dak wasn't horrible in this game for Dallas but he wasn't great but Joshua Dobbs, I mean, he didn't do much. This run game for Arizona really got going. 17 for 21, 189 pass yards and one touchdown. He made good plays when they needed him to. Tony Pollard was great on the run game for the Dallas Cowboys. He's got off to a great start to start the year. Uh, 23 carries and 122 rushing yards. James Conner had 14 carries for 98 rushing yards and one, one rushing touchdown. And then Michael Gallup was the leader in receiving yards for the Dallas Cowboys, and not only the leader in receiving yards for the Dallas Cowboys, but for this whole game, for, for both teams combined. Uh, he had six receptions for 92 receiving yards, and wide receiver for the Cardinals, Michael Wilson, had a big reception in this game uh, on the drive where the where the Cardinals scored a two-yard touchdown pass to Marquise Brown. Michael Wilson had two receptions for 86 receiving yards. Getting into some other stats, Dak Prescott ran for 21 rushing yards, and Joshua Dobbs ran for five, or sorry, 55 rushing yards on six uh, on six runs, while Rondell Moore, wide receiver, had three carries for 54 rushing yards. Marquise Brown had five receptions for 61 receiving yards and one touchdown, while James Conner had two receptions for 18 receiving uh, yards. Besides Gallup, C.D. Lamb had a good game, but um, they needed him to be better in this game in order to win. Uh, he had four receptions and 53 receiving yards. And someone who's really surprised me from the Dallas Cowboys is Brandon Cooks. Two receptions and 17 receiving yards. I thought he would have an immediate impact joining the Dallas Cowboys from the Houston Texans. And um, he's really surprised me. I thought he he would be better. Um, you know, and it's, it's not like, you know, he's not being targeted a lot. He was tied with targets between Jake Ferguson, CeeDee Lamb, and Mike Gallup. Brandon Cooks is, was targeted seven times today and only had two receptions. Compared to Jake Ferguson having seven targets and five receptions, Lamb, seven targets, four receptions, and then Gallup, seven targets, six receptions. So I really thought Cooks would get off to a good start. 
I think that's it's not you know it's not too late. It's too it's very early, and things can definitely change for Brandon Cooks. But I thought he would be a big uh, game changer for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys on offense. But so far, he is not really done that for the Dallas Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, the tight end, was pretty good for the Dallas Cowboys. Though. Five receptions for 48 receiving yards and and uh, was targeted seven times. Um, I mean, no really, no really. There wasn't a lot of fumbles, or there wasn't any fumbles in this game. There was one interception, and um, we'll go over that in just a second. The how about rookie linebacker for for uh, Arizona, Kaiser White? He led the Cardinals in tackles by a mile with fourteen tackles. Had one tackle for loss and had an interception in this game. Have yourself a game, rookie. And then um, for the Cowboys, their leader in tackles was Damon Clark. Dallas had two sacks, Michael Parsons, of course, and Demarcus Lawrence, the two best players on the Cowboys' defense, in my opinion. And then uh, the Cowboys had a total of six tackles for loss, two for Demarcus Lawrence, and then just a bunch of ones throughout the defense of the Cowboys. Two sacks for the Cardinals, uh, one to Zavin Collins, and one to Victor Dem- 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 KJ, um, and then five tackles for loss for the Arizona Cardinals. And the only interception in this ball game was by rookie Kazir White. So yeah, a good game. The Cardinals played some great football. I thought Dallas played some good football as well. Uh, they just should have been way better in this game. Red zone, terrible trips in the red zone. I think uh, this was a not this is an ugly performance from the Cowboys. But they've been playing some really good football in the first two weeks. You know, they scored 70 points in the first two games. They only allowed 10 points in the first game. And this was, you know, Jonathan Gannon, head coach and defensive coordinator for the Arizona Cardinals that is used to facing the Cowboys and probably studied and prepared and was ready for this Dallas Cowboys matchup. And ultimately, it sucks for Dallas to get their first loss of the season. But I think the Cowboys will just be fine. Um, And this is coming from a Houston Texans fan who doesn't really like the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are going to be just fine, and they're probably going to... I I hate to say this, and even though when the Eagles just went to the Super Bowl, I do believe the Cowboys will st- still be good enough to win the division this year over the Philadelphia Eagles, even though they took a terrible loss to the Arizona Cardinals. They played some great football over the last two weeks. I know it's against the, both the New York teams, the Jets and the Giants, but the Cowboys will bounce back. Uh, they will have a hard matchup next week against the Patriots team who have given you know good teams... In the early on weeks, trouble. They gave the Dolphins trouble. Only lost the Dolphins by seven. Lost to them twenty-four to seventeen. They only lost to the to the Eagles by uh, five. So they've gave you know the Patriots have given the good, good the the Patriots have given good teams trouble in the early on uh, early on in the season. And they very well could give the Cowboys trouble next week. But I think the Cowboys will bounce back next week and beat New England. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Your thoughts on the game and peace out.